I'm Marty Robinson for Channel 11 to introduce the unusual program you're about to see. It was made by a Lithuanian couple, a husband and wife, who live in this neighborhood. They made it out of frustration with the newspaper and television coverage of an ugly racial incident that happened here last summer. The date was Saturday, July 17th. Perhaps you remember it. The Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. movement was marching through this neighborhood in support of open housing. 1,000 white residents lined the streets near this spot. They threw bricks, bottles, and rocks at 150 black marchers and at their police escort. In the end, 31 people were injured. The press treated the incident almost as the start of a racial war. It was on the television news. It made national headlines. Editorials called for healing and communication. There were government studies, recommendations, reports, and then it was all forgotten, except by John and Teresa Bogota. They resented what they saw as a complex neighborhood problem being treated as simply a black versus white battle. The Bogotas call themselves Lithuanian Video. They operate out of a small room in their apartment just a few blocks east of here. Using inexpensive portable black and white television equipment, they videotaped the marches and demonstrations of last summer. They interviewed black leaders and American Nazis, neighborhood bankers and lawyers, and they talked to their own white neighbors. By letting these different people speak at length of their honest feelings and hopes, the Bogotas offer a rare inside look at the rights and ethnic values at stake in the changing neighborhood of Marquette Park. Channel 11 presents this videotape to shed more light on a complex problem where in many cases both sides are right. This summer, the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. movement staged a number of marches into the Marquette Park neighborhood of Chicago to protest racial discrimination in that area. Ten years ago, Dr. King himself marched into the same community. Both marches were met by angry whites, and violence followed. Marquette Park is all white. These marches and the rapid racial changes in the bordering communities have left the residents apprehensive about their future. Some have moved out already. Others plan to remain because they have economic, social, and cultural stakes in the community. They've been building and preserving it for over 50 years.